All right, now that we have heard Samsung One UI 2.5 making rounds on the internet and YouTube, today let's check out this all new pro video feature that comes with One UI 2.5, which offers some really cool features for video enthusiasts. If you love capturing moments of your life with your phone's camera, I guess this pro video is gonna enhance the experience resulting in some amazing video clips. Before we begin, if you love what you see on this channel and if you find the contents useful, consider hitting that subscribe button and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Now let's check out the all new pro video mode on One UI 2.5. Now we can create cinematic videos in full HD, 4K and 8K resolution at 24 FPS. Generally cinemas are shot at 24 FPS so that's what we get here. To enable this just go to pro video mode, go to settings. Here you can see an all new settings called pro video size. There are many different resolutions at different frame rates which you can choose from. For cinematic video you can choose any resolution with 24 FPS frame rate. We can also see 8K with 24 FPS with 21 by 9 aspect ratio as well. It's so good to see this mode being so versatile. Then we have the microphone control options which is brilliant. It's so thoughtfully integrated into the camera application. At the bottom the first option is for selecting microphone. We have multiple options here. Omni captures sound from all directions. Front option if you want to focus on the audio coming from the front of your camera like if you are talking towards it and rare for the rear audio. This helps you to capture the sounds more accurately resulting in better audio quality in your video. Then we have Bluetooth and USB options as well. Here you can use an external mic or let's say your earbuds to capture the sound. This is good for bloggers who don't have to carry a separate microphone for better voice recording isn't it. Next one is auto exposure and auto focus lock. If you want to lock the autofocus and auto exposure, you can do that by just pressing and holding the viewfinder or the screen. Your focus and exposure gets locked and will remain intact without losing focus on the subject even when there is any sort of disturbance or objects moving in between. Then we have this new zoom slider. This makes the zoom in and out so smooth, I'm sure you're gonna love it. You can slowly move the slider back and forth to zoom in and out. No matter how fast or shaky your fingers are, it will still zoom slowly and smoothly. The next feature is VU meter and histogram on the viewfinder along with the video settings indicator. This is something which not many of you are going to effectively use unless you are an expert. If you ask me I can only read the VU meter cause it shows the left and right volume conditions but histogram is something I am not sure about. The video settings indicator shows you at what resolution and frame rate you are recording the video. Just in case if you forget about the settings you are on while recording the video, you can have this in handy on the screen. Alright, so after tweaking all possible settings on pro video mode, what if you want to get back to the default pro video mode settings? Samsung was kind enough to provide an option for that as well. You can just hit the reset button to get back to the original setting with most of them on auto mode. Pro mode is definitely a nice addition to One UI 2.5 and those of you who are interested in creating some cool video content, nothing would impress you more than these features on a phone's camera. That's all I have here. If you find this video useful, a sub would be great and a like will be wonderful. Thanks a lot for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one. You guys stay safe and take care. Cheers. Bye bye.